Home Gym Heroes. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. We are here in a new testing facility. We've got a full walkthrough we're gonna do on this. If you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe. However, one thing that we've been wanting to do and we've promised you is more best ofs. We've done this for adjustable dumbbells. We've done it for barbells. We've done it for other categories too, but we want to do even bigger ones. And one that we get a lot of requests on is best smart gyms. So best smart exercise equipment. Now we have a lot of crap we've brought in, as you can see over here. We have a lot more at the gym. We have more behind me. We have more at my house. We are filled to the brim with equipment. And the reason is because we want to show you the best equipment. And so I've broken down into different categories, the best exercise equipment. We've got links for all of these with exclusive discounts for most of them in the link below the like button. So if you'd like to see that with updated pricing, updated discounts, all that sort of thing, make sure you check that out. However, without further ado, we must get into it. And the first one we want to get into is the best fitness mirror. Let's do it. The category we put for fitness mirrors is kind of broad, but most of them are strength based. So it's Nordic Track Vaults, Proform Views, Mirror, the company owned by Lululemon, Echelon Reflect. We've got Tempo back here. We've got Tonal Elsewhere and quite a few others. But our pick, the one that I think is the absolute best, and this won't be a surprise to anybody if you've seen our reviews, is Tonal. I absolutely love Tonal. There's very few pieces of equipment in which I will say I absolutely love them on camera. In fact, there's probably only a handful. There's another one over here, which we'll talk about in a moment, but Tonal is incredible. Tonal allows you to have a seamless way to work out using like the best data that we've seen within strength. Like if you want programming based on data that tracks your reps, that gives you programs, that's pretty much absolutely seamless, you just come up press a button and get to working out, Tonal is that one. I not only recommend this to tons of people at Garage Gym Reviews and all of our readers and viewers, but I've also have like five or six friends and family that have bought them uh, because they're like, Coop, which one should I get? And this is the one I recommend. So Tonal is incredible. Now, another one that I think is worth talking about is Tempo. And Tempo is like, an all-in-one unit. I don't think necessarily that Tempo is better, but it is different because rather than using like cables and things of that nature, it uses free weights. So as you can see back here, and we've done a full review on this, and we actually have another review coming out on the Tempo Move, which is the more budget-friendly option, but this one comes with everything you see here. It uses a 3D camera, which is very similar to what's used on the Microsoft Connect. The tech in here is probably one of the best that's available for strength. I don't know if it's as good as tonal, but there's a lot going on here that I think beats the other options that are out there. This is a massive touchscreen with a 3D camera and also includes these beautiful weights and stand. It's just a really nice look. If you'd like more in depth on this particular product, we've got a full review on both the site and on YouTube. I would say though, from an all-in-one standpoint, I'm a big fan of Tempo. I think there's some things they need to work out. There's some, it's just not crazy snappy, but honestly, I like Tempo and I would recommend it to a lot of people. Next, I wanna get into some conditioning equipment. And we've got quite a few options here from treadmills, ellipticals, bikes, and rowers. We've done a full video on the best smart rowers. Some of these, I feel like we still need to bring more in to crown like this is a true best but I do have some recommendations based upon what we've tested so far. Rowers is not one of those categories. Rowers, I can truly say, like we have pretty much exhausted the options, except for Ergata, we still have them to get in. But from the options I've used for a smart rower, Hydro is fantastic. Hydro uses on-water rowing. Of all the rowers I've used, and I'm talking both smart and non-smart, this has the best rowing experience. I actually like the hardware side of it, better than a C2, it's just it's a lot more expensive than a C2, so most people we'd recommend a C2, and the durability is still out on this in comparison to Concept2 rower. But for a smart rower, there's no better experience than Hydro. It's fantastic. From the hardware, the design, I think it's beautiful. It uses magnetic resistance. It's extremely smooth. There are other rowers like an Averon that uses games and has a little bit more resistance you can apply to it. But if you're looking for a rower simply to row and that you want to have a great experience using on-water rowing, there's nothing that compares. Hydro 
is king. Like we, I, I really like Hydro. It's really well done. And moving on to another piece of equipment that I think is really well done, and I think somewhat of an industry leader, but this one I think is somewhat more hidden, is in the bikes category. Now everybody knows Peloton, and Peloton would probably be my pick for best overall for most people. It is more expensive depending on what bike you get. The hardware isn't amazing, but the experience of Peloton is world-class. It's the reason everybody's chasing Peloton. It's fantastic. But this is a little bit different bike than like a Peloton. This is a Carol bike and it uses what's called REHIT. REHIT stands for Reduced Exertion High Intensity Interval Training. So think HIT, but think a compressed, shorter, higher intensity HIT. So the idea is based upon studies that they've done, and these are like scientific studies that are available, ReHit allows for the maximum dose or the maximum basically benefit you can get from the shortest duration of time. We've got a full review coming out that will break all of this down. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe because I'll go into a lot more detail because there is a lot of detail to talk about. But I will say I am a big fan of Carol and I've been using Carol for about a month or two now and I've used it pretty much every day that I've been on it that it's been available um, and I've seen great results. Big fan of Carol. But if you're looking for another alternative to Peloton, another option that is a little bit less and with discounts can get quite a bit less is the Nordic Track S22i. Now they call this a commercial version of a bike. I don't know if I would say this commercial. I really think this is suited for the home gym, but this is probably the most feature filled bike I've ever seen. So not only does it have the big touch screen with the camera, which they're not necessarily utilizing yet. It's got the buttons for incline and decline and resistance on the handles. It's got like all you can adjust, but in addition to that, it's got a bunch of kind of goofy stuff. So it's got a fan here on the front. If you need to blow yourself off, it can also be controlled by the system to mimic like you're by the beach and stuff like that. Honestly, to me, it feels kind of like an all-in-one printer with faxing, copying, scanning, and biking. Can do like a lot of different crap. But the problem is when you start adding more features, there's more things to break. So I'm still somewhat skeptical on the durability side of this, but I will say using this with iFit programming, which is one of the largest libraries of programming, is pretty good experience. I don't think this is better necessarily than a Peloton if you're looking side to side, but when you look at the price and you look at what iFit can offer, it's a pretty good value. I'm a fan of NordTrack and iFit and some of what they're doing. I do think they have a little bit more to do before they're really like beating Peloton. But on a value basis, I know a lot of people that have gotten this bike and are big fans of it, despite having the alternative, which is like a Peloton. Now. The other category for conditioning that's really popular is treadmills. And there are a million and one treadmills out there. It'd be similar to like us reviewing the best barbell. There's just so many. And we have quite a few that we've brought in, but we have more that we need to bring in. Of the ones I've tested so far from a value basis, the Proform Pro 9000 is a good option. I don't think it's the best. Proform is Nordic Tracks or iFit's kind of like more budget friendly value version. So it's gonna have less RPMs on the motors. It's not gonna have as thick of a belt. It's not gonna be able to go as fast. The incline and decline options won't be as high. The screens won't be as big. The fans won't be as big. The speakers won't be as big. It's kind of just like more for a value basis. But for a lot of people, like when we're choosing like the best one, oftentimes we're choosing what's the best option for most people. And the Pro 9000 series is a pretty good series. There's a lot that you can do. And the main reason for that is because it uses the same programming as what you found on the Nordic Track S22i bike that I just talked about. And that is iFit. It's got all the same programming that you can find on that, except a lot that's customized specifically for a treadmill. And you can use it without the programming if you want to. So. For like somebody that's looking for a treadmill that wants all of the options, that's priced somewhat decently and has like somewhat full feature set, the Proform Pro 9000 series is probably what we're recommending so far. We have quite a few others that we wanna bring in and compare. So if there's others you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and we'll find out. Lastly, our ellipticals. Now, personally, ellipticals isn't the most exciting category for me, but I will say this, any product or any piece of equipment that gets people moving more, I can kind of get behind. And I really want to provide our stance on conditioning equipment because we want to do the same stuff we've done for strength into conditioning. So an elliptical, like the Nordic Track commercial 14.9, which 
I hate when companies put commercial on their name when it's not really a commercial product. And this is not a product you would find in any commercial gym. It's very shaky. The category of ellipticals by and large, there's just a lot of work that needs to be done. And so before we really provide a true recommendation on which one of these we recommend, we need to bring in more and test more. Right now, this is an option that we're currently recommending just because of the vast options that are out there. It's got the same iFit programming that it has on both the bike and the treadmill. It's just okay. There's a lot that I'd like to see improved. They're kind of shaky. They've got some gimmicky stuff like cushions and things like that, but that's kind of the electrical category in general. So we'll provide more info on those coming up, but this is a smart elliptical and this is our current recommendation until we have a lot of others to come in. So the training program I've been following for the past year is called Future Fit. Shout out to Jacob Sheeter, my coach. Uh, I only follow this mainly because I just liked it. I wanted to try it. Use an Apple Watch to track your different metrics, but the programming really is world-class depending on who you use. There's a lot of programming options that are out there. There's a lot of different ones you can go with and there's a lot of different price points. If you're looking for something that's really high touch, I would definitely recommend Future. If you're looking for something that will keep you sticking to your workouts and you have like a marketplace of coaches, Future literally is world-class. I think it's fantastic. It is very freaking expensive though. So lastly, our best smartwatch. This one should be obvious to most people. It's an Apple Watch. We do like Whoop and I think Whoop is a great option. It's not technically a smartwatch. Whoop is great for various metrics and I'm a big fan, but like it's hard to argue with Apple. Apple blows away Fitbit and all the others that are out there. Easy recommendation, but if you're looking for something specific for fitness that can track all the metrics, I would definitely look at Whoop too, because I'm a fan. Okay, this is a large swath of the market. There's a lot more we wanna test, but this should give you a good idea if you're looking for smart home gym tech. These are my recommendations as of right now. Now these are constantly changing, so if you'd like to see our reviews as they come out, make sure you subscribe, or you can go over to the website and we'll have individual reviews on all of these. This coop from Garage Gym Reviews, do you agree with these? Are there other options that we need to touch in the future as we're expanding our categories like treadmills and ellipticals? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time. Peace.